What's up people and welcome back to Red Graphics. My name is Damiola. In this tutorial I'll be creating this circular progress bar design in Adobe Illustrator. So without wasting any more time let's get right into it. So right here I have my hotboard and the first thing I want to do is bring in my background. So I'm going to draw a rectangle like so and I'm going to change this to fill so I'm going to sample this color using the eye on my keyboard okay now I'm going to lock it in place with control 2 so the next thing I want to do is draw an ellipse come right here Click on the ellipse tool and draw hold shift to draw an ellipse like so. So I'm going to change the color to white and then I'm going to switch it to stroke and open the stroke panel and increase the stroke to something like say 60 like so. So, the next thing I want to do is copy this old alt, click and drag to copy. So, I'm going to have to cut some part of this ellipse right here. So, I'm going to bring up my slice tool using C on the keyboard or you come right here. I'm going to click this point to cut it off. So right now I can delete or remove this part of the ellipse. So I'm going to click on this and then go to my stroke panel and change the cap to round cap. Okay, like so. And I'm going to bring them back together. But first I want to change this color to Let's say now I want to change the go to I'm gonna to go to objects and then change the stroke to outline stroke. I'm gonna do the same for this. Go to parts from objects and then go to go to outline stroke. So I'm gonna change the color of this to a darker shade of of the background something around so yes now this is below the darker shade color so I'm going to bring the white one to the front right click go to arrange and then click on bring to front I use the keyboard shortcuts and I'm going to align them together like so as you can see we already have a blueprint of what we want our design to look like so I'm going to change this to a gradient so I'm going to choose click on the whites and then choose, come right here to choose the gradients so I'm going to sample these colors I have here this will be the darker shade and then this will go for the light shade I'm going to change the angle to something around minus 140 like so and then bring this a bit to the side like so so and then I'm going to bring in my percentage, change the color to say white, and bring it to the front, and then just carefully place it in the center, like so. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, 
please make sure to subscribe and drop a like. I'll see you in the next video.